Hello everyone. Today we will solve numerical on design of pressure conduit. So in the previous lectures we have seen the theory part of design of pressure conduit. In that theory part you have seen that there are three to four number of equations available for the design of pressure pipes like Hagen William formula, Darcy Wiesbeck formula. Now using this formula how to solve a numerical today we will see. So first of all see the question what is given water is to be supplied to a town of population 1.5 lakh if the water works situated at a lower elevation of 50 meter then the water level in the source determine the size of gravity main to convey the water from source to the water works if the length of the gravity main is 25 km and the per capita demand of the town is 150 liter per day per capita also the friction factor value to be used in Darcy Wiesbeck formula is also given here having a value of 0 0.075 okay so now see the solution so first of all the total amount to be supplied we have to calculate quantity of water required by the town how to calculate first of all this will be the population multiplied by the water demand population given here 1.5 lakh and the water demand given here 150 liter per day per capita so ultimately we are getting double to five double zero meter cube per day okay so for one day we have to supply this amount of water to the town now the water to the town to be supplied using some pump and we can assume the working hours for pump as 16 hours you can also assume 24 hours now depending on this time duration the discharge will be difference or discharge will be changed so we have to calculate the discharge carried by each and every pipe so the total amount of water to be supplied is uh, 22,500 meter cube in a day and that amount of water to be supplied within this 16 hours so ultimately the discharge you can find by dividing 22500 divided by 16 and converting the unit into meter cube per second we are getting 0 0.39 meter cube per second this is the discharge value now we all know this formula that is discharge is equal to area into velocity through the pipe and also the area can be calculated for a circular pipe as pi d squared divided by 4 now we can easily write this equation that is the discharge value 0 0.39 meter cube per second from the above calculation and also from this equation area multiplied by velocity we can replace the area with pi d squared by 4 and we can easily uh, establish a relation between the velocity through the pipe with diameter of the pipe here the velocity is v and d is the diameter okay so from the Darcy Wiesbeck formula we know that head loss through each and every pipe this is the uh, major head loss the frictional head loss is equal to F L V square divided by D 2 G okay where F is the friction factor L is the length V is the flow velocity through pipe D is the diameter of the pipe and G is the acceleration due to gravity now the friction factor value is given in the quotient 0 0.075 length of the pipe also given in the question 25 kilometer this is to be converted into meter 25,000 meter so ultimately putting all the values in this equation we are getting HL equal to 0 0.075 multiplied by 25 into 1000 divided by D diameter multiplied by 2 into G G value 9.81 meter per second square and in place of V we can write point 496 divided by d square coming from this relation in place of v we are writing this one okay so now we can see one thing 
that in the question it is given that elevation difference between the water works and the uh, source is 50 meter so the head loss through the pipe will be equal to this 50 meter whenever water will be supplied from the one point to the next point then whatever head is available between these two point and the water is coming from a higher level to a lower level then all the head available at the starting point will be dissipated at the end point so ultimately this head uh, elevation difference is equal to the head loss that's why in place of HL we can use the value of 50 meter so now in place of HL we have written 50 and in the right section just simplify the values and from this equation you can easily calculate the D value that is diameter of the pipe to be taken it is coming as 86 meter so ultimately in the question it was asked that we have to calculate the diameter of the gravity main so the value of the diameter of the gravity main is 86 centimeter okay now uh, come to the second numerical this numerical is slightly different so in this question it is given water is to be supplied to a town of 2 lakh population from a source the source is 1.5 kilometer away okay per capita demand of the town is 180 liter per day per capita if the town is situated at a higher level than the source so town is at the higher level and source is at the lower level and the difference in elevation between the lowest water in the source to the point of inlet at the water works is 27 meter so difference of elevation between the town and the source is 27 meter and water to be lift water to be lifted from a lower level to a higher level determine the size of the rising main and horsepower of the pump the value of ch coefficient to be used in the hagen william formula given here equal to 110 and the pump works uh, it is to be taken that pumps uh, pumps work for uh, 18 hours so first of all the discharge or the total quantity to be supplied per day can be calculated by multiplying the population with the demand of water ultimately you are getting 36 into 10 to the power 3 meter cube per day okay and the as the pumps work for 18 hours so you can easily convert this meter cube per day value into meter cube per second value ultimately it is coming as 0.55 meter cube per second now from the theory part we can have one standard value that is the flow velocity through each and every pipe is generally recommended between 0.9 meter per second to 1.5 meter per second okay here it is written so assuming a suitable flow velocity through pipe as 1.25 meter per second and using the discharge value 0.35 meter per second we can easily calculate the diameter of the pipe using this discharge formula discharge equal to area into velocity where discharge you know and velocity you have assumed so the diameter value can be easily calculated from the calculation the diameter is coming as this one and we are taking as a round figure 80 centimeter okay so ultimately this is coming as this one and we are assuming this one so ultimately the area of uh, pipe provided is higher so actual area provided is this one you can calculate pi by 4 into d square so this much meter square and actual value to be to be maintained because discharge will not be changed discharge will be 0.35 meter cube per second but as we are providing some uh, larger area for a, a round of figure of pipe so the uh, velocity to be maintained will be reduced that is 1.1 meter per second actually from uh, at the starting point we have assumed 1.25 meter per second now it, the actual velocity to be maintained is coming as 1.1 meter per second so now using the hagen william formula we know the hagen william formula is this one that is v is equal to 
जिरो पॉइंट एट फाइव सी एच आर टू दि पावर जिरो पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री एंड एस टू दि पावर जिरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर और एस टू दि पावर हाफ सामटाइम्स एज ए राउंड फिगार इट इज टेकन एस एस टू दि पावर हाफ ओके वेर आर इज द हाइड्रोलिक रेडियस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बै द रेशियो अफ वेटेड एरिया डिवाइडेड बै वेटेड पेरिमिटार नट ऑनलि द एरिया डिवाइडेड बै पेरिमिटार वेटेड एरिया डिवाइडेड बै वेटेड पेरिमिटार generally for a circular pipe it is coming as d by 4 diameter divided by 4 so in place of each and every uh, terms in place of ch we are putting 110 value given in the question in place of r we are putting d divided by 4 d is the diameter diameter is 80 centimeter to be uh, placed here using meter unit 0 0.8 divided by 4 to the power 6 0 0.63 is to the power half so ultimately from this uh, equation and also in place of v the actual velocity 1.1 meter per second we are getting the value of slope now slope means the head loss per unit length okay so slope can be written a is equal to hl divided by l also l length of the pipe is given in the quotient 1.5 kilometer so in place of l we can put 1.5 into thousand to be uh, by converting it into meter ultimately we can calculate the head loss value okay so the head loss value is coming as 2.605 meter so ultimately uh, we have to calculate that the total head to be lifted okay so the first of all the difference between the two levels that is uh, lowest water level in the water works and the source point it is given in the question 27 meter and head loss in the rising main that is through the pipe it is coming from the equation or calculation is 2.605 so ultimately total head to be lifted is 27 plus 2.605 ultimately it is 29.605 meter so now we can calculate the horsepower of the pump by using this equation w q h divided by 75 into eta it is not n it is eta eta is the efficiency of pump taking the efficiency of pump as 60 percent and putting all the values uh, corresponding values of each and every term it is uh, thousand multiplied by 0.35 multiplied by 29.605 divided by 75 into 0.60 60% efficiency means fraction value is 0.6 so ultimately the horsepower of the pump is coming as 365.05 horsepower okay so in the question it was asked that the determine the size of the rising main and horsepower of the pump size of the rising mains uh, the diameter of the pipe is 80 centimeter and horsepower of the pump is 365.05 okay so the, uh, by this way using darcy wiesbeck formula hagen william formula you can easily design each and every pressure conduit okay thank you